Hi there, welcome to ADSR FMA Tutorials. If you're not subscribed already, make sure you get yourself subscribed to our YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash ADSR Tuts, just so you don't miss any future tutorials we do on FM8. So this is part four of the funk step feature we've been doing this month. And in this tutorial, I was going to show you how to make this kind of wobble bass sound. So that limits it off there. <laughs> and just to have a closer look really at FM8's envelopes and just how we can customize those just for our own kind of unique sort of wobble sounds really and also just to kind of round this loop off I've made this lead sound and I'm going to show you how to make that as well so let's start with this bass sound here we've got some sidechain compression on there that we can just mute for now load up FM8 let's create a new sound in here let's get this sound together let's get the tone together and just put some effects on there and then let's look at the envelope section so for so let's move to the operator section first and start off operator f 0.25 on the ratio keep it as a sine wave key synced it's a nice deep kind of tone it's going to be quite quiet for now so let's route this operator through the filter as well so we can go into the filter at full volume operator z is the filter turn that on we're not going to get much yet because we've just got this deep sine wave so let's add a square wave to that sine so just beef it up a little bit so operate e 0.25 on the ratio and we're going to go for a square wave and then we're just going to use e to kind of like feed through operator f so and then feed e into itself as well Can hear that sort of crunchy kind of tone coming through. Let's feed F into itself as well a bit, about 30. And 31. And let's move to operator D next. We can have a TX wave 8 for this one, for this operator. Key sync this, ratio 0.5. And D, again, we're just going to feed through both of these operators we set up here. So feed it into E at 36. And it's just kind of subtle kind of character being added to the tone there. And into F at 15. Maybe a bit higher, maybe about 20. And it's feeding into itself about 29 as well. Okay, so we're going to add a triangle waveform in operator C and this is going to brighten up the tone of the, the kind of bass sound a little bit. So I'm going to go for a higher ratio, 2.5, key sync this, and I feed D, um, and I feed operator C into D, about 14. And a lot of these are having quite a subtle effect on the sound. Um, but it's just kind of helping just sort of thicken out that tone a little bit. I'm going to feed C into F at 36 as well. You can hear that triangle wave kind of coming through there a bit more now. And I'm also going to feed C straight to the filter as well, about 24. And then I'm going to create this kind of feedback loop here, really, because I'm going to route F through C. Be quite careful with this here. Don't go too high with that. You can see up here in the kind of like frequency analyzer. It's going to add quite a lot of brittle sort of kind of crunch to the top end, but you don't want to go too extreme because it will just destroy the sound. So let's move to the master section now. 
give the sound two voices, make it monophonic, set the detune off. And let's just add a little bit of digital, about 32. Six. That should do it. Okay, so let's set some effects up next, and then we can look at programming our kind of customized envelope. So I'm going to distort this sound quite heavily with the overdrive here, push the tone up to about 78, bass up to about 60. And I'm going to use the tube amp as well. Push the volume up to 100 and just take the drive down to about 44. And finally, a PQQ. Just to bring out some of the high mids on the sound. And push the volume up in here as well, just to boost the overall volume of the sound. Okay, with all of that set up, we can now move to the envelope section, or, or be it the filter envelope, really. Okay, so let's start off here by adding some resonance onto this filter. Take the resonance to 39, and that's just going to help with the kind of character here. So take the cutoff right down, and keep the mode on low pass for filter 1. Filter 2 can all pretty much stay the same. And let's just keep this rooting section the same. And then this envelope amount here, let's increase this envelope amount to 68. So this is kind of like a volume here for this envelope that we have down here. So if it's at zero, what we're doing this envelope here is not going to affect the sound. But the more you push it up, the, the kind of stronger the envelope will be. So this is a feature of FM8, what I really love, and makes it kind of unique to a lot of other synths, the way you can program and customize your own envelopes. Um, and one of the great things is the fact that you can tempo sync them and just create your own sort of wobbles and just unique kind of like modulations, really. So tempo sync this envelope, and as we zoom out, you'll notice if you zoom out far enough, you get this one, two, three, four. And when it goes out to this point, this is a bar. This is one bar here. So with the mode on SLD, we can drag the sustain point out and in like this. And then once we check fixed, and if we start making alterations in here, that sustain point is going to stay looping over one bar. If we go back to SLD, it starts to move. So if we drag the sustain point out to the one here, check SLD. So the mode is on fixed. Now if you zoom in, you get C4 over 4. So telling you there's four beats in there. Um, and then we can program our own kind of envelope in here. And what I want is a kind of like, like a wobbly sort of, say if we pull the sustain down. And this is another thing actually. At the moment, it's not a sustained loop. It's just an envelope. As soon as I check another point in there, we get this dotted line here. So as soon as you've set up this sustain here and you, you kind of like control click to set up another envelope pointer, you get this dotted line, which means now this is a loop. And if I hold a key, keep it pressed, it's creating that kind of like looped sort of sound. So what I want to do is I want to have this kind of like wobble with it kind of introduces itself and sort of in between. So this one over four, that's one beat. We've got one beat here. And I want the wobble to kind of happen in between the kind of kick and the snare. So if I create a couple of points here. Zoom in a bit and see this one over eight. That's kind of like halfway through the beat. So that's like the off beat there. If I have the wobble kind of kind of zooming in something like this got that nice wobble sound if we loop that with uh, the beat got no kick drum at the start there but 
You're getting that nice kind of like modulation on the sound in between the kick and snare. So I'm going to repeat that for the next two beats here. Just control clicking to create extra pointers. So in between beats 1 over 4 to 2 to 4 is beats, that's from beats 1 to 2. Zoom in a bit so we get the 3 over 8, so we're in the off beat. And do another one of these kind of like wobbles. And then the same again, beats 2 to 3. And these kind of like circular sort of pointers here, this is like your sort of your decay and attack slopes really, so. So you can really kind of start tweaking some wobbles and just make them really unique. And then I want to do a little bit of a fill at the end here, so. Just do a kind of like double sort of. So kind of double wobble really so I'm going to put two pointers in here so just control click in actually sound quite cool if we doubled up this last one as well so put a few extra points in there customized envelope really which sounds really cool I mean you can start just tweaking this just and this kind of like filter up here we've got this resonance at 39 obviously you push it right up and because we've got so much kind of distortion going on it's really sort of like that resonance that resonant filter is really sort of the the distortions kind of responding to it and you get that really nice character on the sound and it's also this envelope amount here so you just set up a nice filter in there and then you've got some really cool things to just kind of tweak that sound really start automating some stuff so there's the sound done let's quickly just look at this lead sound that we made here to complement that bass load up FM8 here create a new sound uh, operator session not even going to use a filter for this sound just going to root some of these operators straight to the output F can stay rooting at 80 E we're going to feed into F at 45 and push F up to 2.5 on the ratio um, we're going to have a square wave and operator E 2.25 you notice I'm using higher ratios here because I've got this lead sound so I want it to have like sort of brighter kind of higher tone really and just pushing the octaves of these operators up a few one or two octaves really so PWM ramp mod operator D 0.25 it's going to bring a bit of kind of lower character into the sound that so straight to the output about 84 and then operator C keep as a sine wave 0.5 on the ratio I'm going to route this into operator D turn it on of course about 22 and also straight to the output about 71 
and then finally operator B go 4 on the ratio make it a square wave and just kind of about 53 or 50 on, on route into the output the volume the operator and then route C into B at about 20 let's move to the master section to beef this sound up a little bit let's give it two voices detune push up slightly about 25 let's pan these voices out a bit just to kind of spread the sound and some digital as well just for some kind of top end sort of bite and let's go to the effects and let's just kind of put some overdrive on there PQQ Reverb Let's pull that dry wet down And some chorus delay Let's take the effect down a little bit And with the sound, I mean it's quite a thin sound. There, just holding down a C3 note. If I hold down a C2 and C3, C4, you know, with chords it works quite well. It gives it quite a thick sound. So this riff I've got in here, I've just got a basic riff and then just kind of duplicated it really. Um, just one octave up so it just kind of beefs the sound up. The final thing actually some vibrato um, just rootless LFO1 to the pitch about 11 and that's it that's the sound done so <laughs> Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. I hope you found it useful. Any questions, please get in touch. Any feedback on this funk step feature we've done using FM8, then yeah, we'd love to hear from you. And make sure you go and check out fm8tutorials.com. If you've not checked it out already, tons more tutorials um, in a forum on there. So loads more tutorials on FM8 making various different sounds. So go and check it out. And yeah, thanks for watching. All right, cheers. Bye.